Hello YouTube family, this is your boy Exploring with Pudgy, aka Pudgy Boys, and back at you with another spectacular filming. Oh, you're going to love this one guys. This is a movie set for the big fish in the town of Spectre in the Dark Forests. So if you want to take a gander at all that, pause that video and read it if you like. And then we're going to go move on. We're going to see a couple of buildings and we'll see what it's like to be on one of the sets. So come with me, why don't y'all? All right. We'll walk around and see a couple of things. One thing I don't know if you can see because of the light. We'll try to get out the light for you. Very uh, spooky tree. I don't know if that's part of the movie prop. Or what? But they did a pretty good job at it. Hmm. We're actually on an island. I don't know if you can see around us, but there's an island. I think it's called Jackson Lake Island. Whoa, I didn't realize that, but I guess somebody left us some presents, some shoes on the wire there. So, that's something cool. And there's the little town we're going to film. So, welcome to Spectre. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we can go in some of these buildings, but we'll try. All basically this is is a movie prop. So... It doesn't look like we can go in them, but it looks like we can film around them and film in them. Here's uh, one of the buildings here. Don't come on here, buddy. There's nothing to it. Just basically a movie prop. Made it look like an old town barn. You know. A little another one over there. Kind of like the design of them, though. Old school. Pretty neat. Kind of sees some of the buildings. They did an okay job building this as a movie set. I was hoping we can go into the church down at the end, but I think they're all wired off to keep uh, people out. People like to vandalize and ruin things, even though this is just a prop set. I guess they kind of wanted to preserve it. So we'll just take you to uh, each little house. We'll show you around. Little town of Spectre. Oh, and this place has uh, goats that roam around here too. There's 
the cage in there. So we'll just go in there. Give y'all a look. Not much to it, just a movie prop set, but we're gonna be pretty neat to look at. I'll show you how they build the little set. There was this one. Maybe this was like the local store. I reckon you gotta stay over here though. Okay. Stay there, buddy. These boards are kind of shady. I don't there's much to show you, really. Kind of like destroyed it instead of preserving it really. The outside of these things look pretty cool. Wicked. Woof. This one was a house too. See, they're breaking the glass. Big cool little house. You know, they all built it really well. I mean, it's built of normal wood. The guy that I talked to that runs this place and maintains it and kind of acts as the security guy said it's there were more buildings here, but there's not much to it anymore. And it's, he said it's 17 years old. So, wherever that movie, The Big Fish, came out. I want to see if we can go to church. I don't think we can because everything else is blocked off. But you get a little look see. Little look see. I got my nephew with me, but we just want to show you the town. Get him to walk on the grass so we don't have to hear our footsteps so much. Kind of taking the scenery, it's nice out here, it's just beautiful weather. Yeah, well, really nice looking homes if they would have kept them up. I mean, they did a phenomenal job of building these if this is just a movie set. Sheesh. But, obviously there's no frames on the inside. Try to... Picture on that one. Sorry about the light. It's bright and warm today. But these are just uh yeah, they're not really built. It's not real it's not real wood. See, foam board. So it's a movie prop set, but you used to be able to go in there, but I guess because it started decaying more, uh, they a lot of they fenced off these doors, 
And then people are get the dum dums putting graffiti out. You know. Put your graffiti out there. That one would have been nice. You know. Two more houses in a church. This is on the big fish. Does any of y'all know the big fish? Maybe I guess it was with Jeff Bridges, maybe. This was in it. Part of the filming set. I mean, it's they did a pretty good job. Like, I mean, I can't stress that out enough. I think a lot better than I would have building this place. Some of them, some of these will kind of forego because you can see a little dilapidating. Kind of falling apart, you know. And there's no really no interiors, or just obviously movie sets. But still, the detail they put into these things, you know, it's pretty cool. A little light coming through there. That's where we came from. This was the mayor's house. Let's scoot back, I guess. Careful, boy. Here's the mayor's house. And then we got the church. Oh, please let us go be allowed to go in the church. Please let us be allowed to. If anything, you know, let us just go in there and they fence it off in the beginning. That'd be kind of awesome. But we'll find out in a second. There's steps going up to it and I don't know if we can go in there or not. Hmm. You smell that? That smells like horse dung. Or cow dung. Or animal. Poo poo. <sighs> Bummer. It's just a movie set anyway, so you can't really see anyone's in it. I was hoping there'd be like a little floor in there. You can go in there and look, but not so much luck. But it's beautiful out here. Got the wildlife, wild goats and stuff. We'll film it. The church between the trees and the tower. That's pretty cool. But it's probably those wild goats that get up in here. I see those broke out windows. But just the detail, the de details they went into building this is pretty neat. You know? Here's the inside. Not much to it. Yeah, see those little black petals? Little black poopoos. Poo -poo. <laughs> oh, they got a little thing out here too. Look. They got a little setup for the cows. I mean uh for the goats. See? The hay and the buckets for the drinking. Backside's not gonna look too fancy because it's just a movie prop set, but I would imagine they have all kinds of RVs, cars, and stuff parked along here to, when they were doing their filming. You see, there's not really much to, a, to it now. It's still pretty big. They did a lot of good detail into it. Now it's all for the goat.
Yeah, but it's too bad that uh <laughs> it's too bad that they uh didn't preserve the inside. It'd be nice to go up to the little tower up there. Take a view of everything around here. You know. But that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Not a very long video. We could crawl in there if we wanted to, show the inside, but it's just a shell movie. Not really, I'm sure you all know what that looks like, but just the detail. Probably would have been a lot better. I think the guy said there was, there was more buildings over there, more over there, but they had to take them down due to safety concerns because it was dry rotting. It's what, 18, 17, 18, 20 years old. That's it, folks. Give it a little shot. That's it. Full filming town, Spectre. There you go. Bayou. Swamp area. Houses. Kind of like a ghost town. Uh, that's it folks hope you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like and subscribe button still kind of growing still kind of learning but I appreciate y'all taking the interest in looking on the video and uh, we'll catch you later see y'all next time bye bye